Page 76, Exercise 10, Part B. Listening. Good evening, Mr. Alfaro. Good evening, Miss Carmen. How are you? Fine. What about you? Yeah, I'm good. You know, just starting, starting the, uh, the week, right? Yeah. Getting into the routine again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... We, we got no crazy. choice. <laughs> <laughs> and we are alone in this class. I, I don't know why. Yeah, I see that. We have latecomers. Okay. Yeah, I know them. I've been with them for two months already. So um, I'm, I'm starting to know their, their tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, yes. uh, what is the time to finish the, the weekly activity? For example, on Saturday, I finish at uh, 12, but I don't know if you have uh, some, some time specific, a specific time, 11 or mm -hmm. 9 or I don't know. The, there is no deadline actually, but uh, there is like an internal uh, rule that we have and that is finish uh, on the fifth, on the last day of the week, which is Friday. Okay. Okay. Yes. I mean, okay. for every, for every unit, all right, for every unit. Okay. But, but if, if you if you ask me the question about the uh, let's say the whole platform, it has to be on May eleventh at, at twelve p.m. May eleventh. Yeah, May eleventh, which is the last day of class. No, no, no. I refer about the every like the, the homework, week, for yeah. example, mm -hmm. the weekly weekly activity. Yeah, it, it's every on Friday. Friday. Every on Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. it's every Friday. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Miss Portillo, hello. Hello, teacher. Good hello. Evening. Good evening. Miss Sonia, and then I have Mr. Alfonso Cabrera. All right. Good evening. There's a lot of practice that I have planned today for you, um, including a review about the passive voice, some vocabulary, like respect, like company values. So we're going to study that. And uh, and we, we will integrate this or combine this into some listening activities. So I have two listenings for you this evening, okay? So we'll see how it goes, all right? We'll see how it goes. So let me share with you, this is screen because I need to re, uh, remind you of this, okay? So as of today, uh, today is the fifth day. So uh, since we started on Tuesday, this is the fifth class uh, of the module. Okay, but um, as I was explaining to Miss Carmen, eh, so I'm asking you as a favor that every Friday, eh, at least you, you should complete the uh, weekly homework. Like for example, this week is, is uh, section two, which is due on Friday at midnight, let's say, because uh, coordination asked me to update your grades on Saturday morning. Okay, so, and that's the reason why, <laughs> all right? <laughs> it's not because Mr. Alfaro wants you to uh, go to bed late on a Friday night, no. <laughs> it's because, you know, the, um, I would say the, uh, the program requires that from you, all right? So that being said, let's take a look at section two, which is unit two, socializing <laughs> homework assignments for this week. So, okay, I, I, I'll be uh, muting you right now so we don't hear the, the feedback from the microphones, all right? So you need two stores with um, homework number six and it's some vocabulary. Let me just go back very quickly. And um, let's see. Okay. So this one has to do with some vocabulary that we're going to study um, tomorrow, all right? But basically it's like with the different fields in companies, like, um, let me just give you a quick overview. 
but that, that's that's for tomorrow so you don't have to worry about this yet so homework six has to do with this vocabulary like for example in banks what type of interest industry is this one right it's the finance industry right mobile phones so uh, it has to do with communication it has to be over yeah telecommunications industry so all i'm saying my friends is that uh, homework six has to do with the vocabulary that we will cover tomorrow okay and I, we continue um, um, homework seven. This one will have to do with a review of simple present WH questions or information questions. So this is something that you already are familiar with, or at least we're going to review this topic. That's for Wednesday, okay? And then the video conference for Thursday, hold on. Uh, when 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 we have to write the answer as the last exercise yes we have to write without capital letter true let me let me try right now all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a good question okay so i'm going to give you access to uh the first two all right to the first two what so is the third person it should be what does this machine do all right I would suggest Ms. Carmen and everyone to start with capital letter in all our cases, just to make sure. Um, it shouldn't be wrong, okay? What does she, you know, who does she meet on Saturday? Saturdays actually, all right. Okay, let me submit this, all right? Eh, and what's the mistake over here? Um, Maybe Saturday. the capital letter on Saturday? No. Who she meets on Saturday? Who does? Ah, she. Ah, yeah, you're right. What does she? Yeah. I forgot. I said it right, but I didn't <laughs> type it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have to use capitals. Okay. And try not to skip a word like I did. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, next one. I don't know why we have some videos in here, but uh, this is not anybody in the class, right? I can tell you that. So homework number eight, this one has to do with simple pass. So on Thursday, please try not to miss that class. Sorry, let me uh, move the camera. Because on Friday, we will cover the basics of simple pass. All right, affirmative statements and negative uh, statements, okay? And also I will talk about regular and irregular verbs. And my focus for that class will be pronunciation of regular verbs. It's not the same uh, to pronounce work and let's say visit in past tense, okay? So they have a totally different pronunciation. Or like in this case, you don't say stop it, okay? And you don't spell stop, in simple past with just one P, you, you, you write it down with double P. And you don't say stop, you say stopped, like with a T over there, but there's a rule, all right? So that, you know, uh, things like that will be explained to you on Thursday, right? Hopefully, okay? So that's not me, all right? So I don't, I don't have that beer. <laughs> okay, homework number nine, the, this is vocabulary, um, like talking about companies, right? This one, like a bank, a headquartered, uh, staff, okay? It's just vocabulary. And the last thing, remember that since, since we started uh, on Tuesday, this homework should be, if you wanna do it for this coming Friday or for next week, so that's okay. There's an exception, all right? Because this is because tonight we will start the fifth class. Como comenzamos en un martes, apenas vamos con la clase cinco, entonces falta. No vamos al día, verdad? No vamos a acabar. Eh. We, 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 know, we don't start on, on Monday and we don't finish on Friday. So the last class, just to tell you, it's on May the 11th after Mother's Day. Okay, and homework number 10 has to do with, with the simple pass, a, uh, making questions right there. Okay. And uh, double checking if 
sentences like in native have been written down correctly and affirmative statement. So bottom line, my friends, in, in pocas palabras, this week we will cover the simple past and a review of the simple present. That's what I'm saying, Mother. Okay. So, and since I promised you that uh, we, we would start the class with a review, so let's begin with a review. But let me say hello to everyone. Vamos a saludar por aquí. I have on my screen, Miss Susana. Hello, Floor. Hello, Mr. Lewis. Um, hello, sir. Hi, teacher. Sarai. Hello, Claudia. I see you're ready over there, right? Um, and you have a you have a new uh, no haircut, right? But uh, you come your hair differently, right? Ya ve que me fijé que se peinó distinto, Claudia. So I'm bothering you, all right? I'm teasing you. So, Mr. Hoy sí, Daniel. Hoy sí trabajé, teacher. <laughs> hoy trabajó. <laughs> hoy sí le vengo. Sí, la semana pasada era vacación. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. That makes sense, right? Eso tiene sentido. <laughs> okay. Ya está ya, with, with the battery recharge, con la batería recargada. Sí, va. Okay, so Mr. Edwin, hello, Mr. Caesar, right? Hello, sir, we got some PDF for you tonight, sir. Tenemos ahí un par de PDF, ¿verdad? Para que ponga ahí su magia. <laughs> nice, Miss Sonia, Mr. Eduardo, hello, sir. And uh, yeah, I didn't see you on Friday, sir, but that's okay. Uh, and then Mr. Nelson, Catherine, and then Miss Sandra, right there. So let's begin. Um, here we go. So tonight the class will be divided in three parts, as you can see, all right? Um, we have some listening exercises like this one, like uh, talking about Colombia, that's one part. There will be an exercise about the Titanic did you know, Sabia, did you know that the Titanic was drowned or, or drowned in 1912 on April, right? On April 13 or something like that. So yesterday I watched a, uh, a program on TV that explained everything about the Titanic. So it was a documentary. So I got inspired, you know, I got inspiration yesterday, okay? When, when I was watching this. Me inspiré ayer, estaba viendo esto y tiene, tiene mucha relación con, con lo que estamos viendo. And then, since I already know some information about the Titanic, I can tell you that this is true, okay? And you're gonna complete this in an interactive um, exercise. So that's one thing. Another thing that we will do, solo para hacerles una breve introducción is a uh, passive voice, again, right? And then we have the listenings, some conversations over there, explanation about the passive voice using the simple present. Ahora ya no vamos a decir eh, was used. Now we will say is used or are manufactured, okay? Last week we covered passive with the, the past tense, right? With was and were. Esta semana vamos a cubrir la pas voz pasiva con el verbo to be en is or are, right? So that's, that's, that's the idea. That's the plan, all right? Ese es el plan. And then we have some exercises. Okay, okay, so don't worry about it. No vamos a cubrir todo eso, ¿verdad? Yo casi siempre, y ustedes quizás ya notaron que consigo información de más, pero como al final de cuenta esto les queda como un libro a ustedes en PDF, usted lo puede repasar, ¿verdad? Como guste. All right, so I'm going to start the class with this. Company values, okay? There are two reasons why I want to talk about this. Number one is because we all are part of a uh, company, okay? Whether you work uh, at a bank, you know, for uh, or you work at an embassy, uh, or you are an accountant, etc. okay? So we need to follow some values in our personal, and professional life, all right? So that's the first reason. So among the ethics, honesty, integrity, and respect, we need to practice some values. And in this case, I have uh, showing you, so I'm showing you right now the uh, first slide, which has to do with uh, empathy. So what is empathy? Okay, 
what's empathy? And according to this is we have three types of empathy, affective empathy, somatic and cognitive empathy. All right. The first one is the ability to respond to other people's emotions appropriately. It's like you show uh, people that you're actually understanding through words and feelings, right? Okay. So you show like empathy through uh, showing that person, you know, some, some kind of feeling. ¿verdad? La primera es empatía afectiva. Okay. It has to do with feelings. Number two is somatic empathy. The ability to feel what other person is feeling, right? Okay, it's like if someone is crying, you're going to cry with the person, right? If someone feels down, okay, you're going to, in a way, you're going to empathize with a person and feel that way, right? No, no tenemos que aprendernos esto, solamente estoy introduciendo el tema, verdad, que es requisito, pero es parte de nuestro diario a vivir, verdad? Cognitive empathy, the ability to understand someone's response to a situation, right? Sometimes people are mad. Sometimes people are angry, sad, and you need to understand that maybe something is going on, right? So that's the point over here. A veces las personas andan disgustadas, tristes, calladas, okay? And there is a reason, ¿verdad? Y eso se llama cognit eh, empatía cognitiva. But the only thing that you need to learn is... What's empathy, right? Is putting yourself in the other person's situation or the other, the other person's shoes, but not ponerse en la situación de otra persona. So that's empathy, okay? That's empathy, as far as I understand, okay? Um, all right. I'm reading your message. So this, this image is, is great, all right? So I found this image and I wanted to uh, share it with you. Take a look at that, please. You have respect. That's the second value, all right? Respect. My personal definition of respect, you may have your own definition of respect. Cada quien puede tener su propia definición de, de respeto, right? But in this case, I found this information that uh, defines respect in three points or three ideas. Respect is showing people you care. El respeto es mostrar a las personas que, que ellas le, le importan a usted. Like, for example, a mother to uh, her child or a, or a uh, co-worker to, to his or her friend, right? Or in this case, a teacher to his, his or her students, right? The teacher prepares the class and tries to be as professional as possible in order to... Uh, Okay, to, to teach, right? Because students deserve the best experience. Or like a doctor, right? So a doctor is very ethical with his or her patients, right? So she or he will not prescribe any type of medicine just to uh, make money, right? Out of it, right? ¿verdad? That's ethical. And also that is respect. And respect can be respecting elders, right? Respetar a sus mayores. And that is something that we learn since little, right? Nos enseñan a respetar a nuestros mayores. Okay? At least our generations, right? Por lo menos nuestras generaciones así nos enseñaron, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay? Uh, respetar a los mayores. Um, next one. Respect is doing the stall, ¿verdad? Y el respeto es seguir indicaciones también, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, respetar lo que otras personas nos digan o hacen. You see this, these uh, contestants? ¿Verdad? Estos eh, competidores, they're shaking hands. So what are they showing? Respect. Yo sé que en la plataforma decía, un ejercicio por ahí, ¿verdad? Un poco obvio, redundante, decía, if you are loyal, you show loyalty, right? If you are respectful, you show respect. Pero en este caso, yo me quise salir de lo, de lo común, ¿verdad? Para, para traerles algo, una, una pequeña reflexión, right? So a, a short reflection. Let me just clarify something, right? Solo les necesito aclarar un poco. We, we will do 50 and 50, all right? Vamos a ir 50 y 50. Why is that? Because I will share with you five values. And your job is to research about the other five values in a breaker room. Yo les comparto cinco, eh, les explico cinco valores, okay? O principios. Y ustedes en un ejercicio eh, interactivo, maybe individually or in groups, are going to match the value with the definition. Y ya dentro de unos momentos vamos a comenzar a hacer un ejercicio 
the matching, right? So emparejar the definition with the, the uh, value over there. The definitions I might be sharing with you um, might be not the best ones, but um, I guess we have the main idea, right? Quizás las definiciones que les estoy dando, verdad, no están apegados a su propio concepto, pero um, creo que respetamos las ideas principales, verdad, o los conceptos básicos de estos valores o principios o virtudes, right? People call them virtues, right? Virtues. So responsibility. Do what is expected of you. So, for example, if, if your uh, boss or your supervisor tells you send an email, you send the email, right? If, the, if your supervisor tells you call someone or arrange a meeting, you arrange a meeting, right? Okay. So, choose the right thing to do. And, of course, uh, sometimes we have many things to do and, um, and nobody's watching, right? Right now with home office. Con el home office, I mean, you are responsible, okay, of, of performing or, or uh, I would say complying with all your tasks res responsibly, right? Nadie nos está viendo en la casa, ¿verdad? Entonces, so, but we have to be responsible, okay? It has, it's a decision, right? It's a choice. Be accountable, right? Es otro sinónimo de ser responsable, ¿verdad? Pero al final... Eh, como dicen, van a buscar culpables, right? So people are going to try to blame someone. So, and we are accountable, ¿verdad? Entonces nos van a, nos van a cobrar cuentas, okay? I think that's how you say it, right? And we have two images over here. We have two images. Now, I'm going to ask you this. What's the difference between these two images? ¿Cuál será la diferencia en estas dos imágenes que tengo ahí, verdad? The, the two colleagues on, on, on the top trying to do something and the person uh, below y la persona abajo, ¿verdad? That is like doing this, right? O sea, o sea todos los dedos, you know, all the fingers are pointing at him, right? And this is like this, right? Surprise. So what's the difference between uh, image A and image B, ¿verdad? Yo les pregunto, ¿cuál será la diferencia entre la imagen A que está arriba, it's on the top, and the one that is uh, over there, you know, at the bottom? ¿Cuál será, ¿Cuál será el mensaje? What's the message over there? of those two images. Are they being responsible or just delegating, <laughs> telling the, or, or somebody else what to do? What would be the difference over there? So is that what is expected of you? Será que es lo que esperan de nosotros? Que nos echemos el equipo al hombro. <laughs> okay. Maybe, right? Or should, should we be shoulder with shoulder, verdad? Hombro a hombro. Yeah, any ideas of those two images over there? Picture in the first, yeah. sorry, yep. in the first, in the first, in the first picture, uh, uh, the, 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 the people are helping each other, right? each other, yes, mm -hmm. each other to achieve a goal, I suppose, the project. Okay. Yes. But then the second picture, mm -hmm. the gentleman is waiting yeah. <laughs> to something, uh, doing, doing some activity, but they never uh, appear yeah. with the responsibility to, to help or integrate in the project. So exactly. he's one, he's waiting to to something or for, or someone mm -hmm. uh, decide the activity to, to do. So it, yeah, I see your point over there. In, in this case, maybe this gentleman doesn't want to do the activity, right? Okay, or doesn't want to fulfill the task because he didn't make a choice, right? And uh, maybe this is what happens sometimes in our uh, uh, jobs, okay? People just tell you what to do, but they don't show you how to do it, or they don't help you around. Maybe, right? That's the case. So it's like me, right? Me, are you telling me? <laughs> so why don't you do it then? ¿Por qué no lo hace usted, right? But we can say that, right? Eso no lo podemos decir, but sometimes we think about it, right? Pero lo pensamos. <laughs> All right. What happens is that here in El Salvador, I can tell you that uh, people cannot take, a, let's see, 
suggestions or, or advice oh. or criticism, right? Aquí nos tomamos a veces a malo que nos, que nos critiquen o que nos digan, mire, esto se puede mejorar. So um, that's, that's what happens because it's, it's something uh, that belongs to our culture and that we should change, right? Podríamos cambiar, okay? Innovation, all right? So we're supposed to innovate look for solutions in there. And since this world moves uh, very quickly, so uh, we gotta innovate, all right? Maybe the way things were done like five years ago are not, uh, you know, are not the same like right now, right? So we gotta innovate, okay? Find uh, new ways to do stuff over there. So bottom line, and I think this is innate to human beings, right? Es algo innato de, de los seres humanos, ¿verdad? Buscar soluciones, okay? I think. Like right now, right? With COVID-19. Now we're using online classes, okay? So we innovated somehow, all right? ¿Cuándo íbamos a pensar nosotros de tener clases en línea, verdad? No, eso no funciona, decía la gente, right? So that doesn't work, okay? Okay, so uh, as a recap, we have five values okay we have empathy uh, respect responsibility and innovation so those are the five uh values that i wanted to share with you all right no necesita de memorizarse significados ni definiciones ni nada por el estilo but right now let me show you something if you have any questions this is a perfect time to ask si tiene alguna consulta pregunta o algo es el momento perfecto para que usted eh, aborde, ¿verdad? Cualquier, cualquier consulta que tenga. Just one second, please. I'm looking for this. All right. One moment, please. Here we go. All right, so if there are no questions, let me go ahead and continue with this. So as I told you, this is the vocabulary. And we have Empathy, we covered this already. We covered responsibility, uh, innovation, uh, and uh, what was the other one? Respect. Esas son las que cubrimos, ¿verdad? Cubrimos empatía, responsabilidad, de respeto, and what's the other one? And innovation, innovación, okay? Um, and the ones that we're still missing is leadership, honesty, punctuality, efficiency, and integrity or integrity. Integrity is actually better if you say. So in this uh, crossword puzzle, you're supposed to fill in the blanks over here, but I have, a, I have an alternate exercise for you, okay? No vamos a hacer esto, verdad, crucigrama. No, we, we will do something uh, different, okay? Ya me había preocupado, teacher. No, Yo no lo viendo. Viendo ese diagrama, ese crucigrama, yo fue. <risa> ni en el diario lo hacemos, ¿verdad? No, pero ni así. Ni en el diario lo hacemos. <risa> no, aquí lo tengo, Fisi. Ya, ya estuve trabajando hoy, tempranito. Ya ya ves, hay que pasar la copia a los compañeros. Y, 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 y cre, creé un formulario por acá que le voy a compartir. But let me see if it's working. Yes, it's working over here. Aquí solamente lo que va a hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, como la tecnología, solo le va a dar clic, right? You're going to read and just click over there, try to match it. That's what you're going to do. Okay. So this is innovation, right? Si no estuviera usted que imprimirlo, se lo mando y lo hace. So it takes time. Over there. Uh, dele doble la cabeza. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is what we have. Okay, so company value. So this is going to request your email address. I haven't shared with you the uh, link, okay, of this form. Todavía no se les he compartido para que no se me adelante. And then we have match the definitions on the left with the values on the right. And you see we have the definitions like, for example, being faithful to your friends, family, principles, etc. And then you have empathy, responsibility, honesty, innovation, loyalty, leadership, and punctuality. But aquí usted dice, there are not 10 values. You see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, entonces solo siete voy a hacer. Dice usted, no, 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 no. You have to scroll down and then you have this bar. Vamos a ver la, la barrita to the right. 
over there. Okay. And in there, you're gonna you're gonna see the rest of values. You see, efficiency, integrity, and respect. And let me give you a, a, a quick um, demonstration, and then you just click, click. Aplique lo mismo de los estudiantes, verdad? Ah, al azar se iban, verdad? Para contestar. No, no, I'm just kidding. I know, right? Any, mini, many more, right? <laughs> yeah, so try, but in this case, a la moneda, right? Yes. Now, just keep in mind that you can do this as many times as you want, okay? But if you are in class, right? Do it individually and then with a classmate, try to practice, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacerlo, ¿verdad? Para comprensión lectora, para que se nos quede la palabra y lo otro para práctica de pronunciación. Like, for example, imagine that I'm practicing with Mr. Francisco and Miss, and, and Miss Flor. And then I do this individually, and then I get 10 out of 10. Yo tengo 10 de 10, ya estoy ahí, ¿verdad? And then I practice with somebody else. Y practico y vamos, okay, being faithful to your friends, family, and principles. Ya le pregunto a Mr. Francisco. Oh, okay, it's innovation, me dice. Digo, no, 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 Mr. Francisco, that's not innovation. Ya le digo la correcta. Or maybe he, he tells me, yeah, you're right, okay? En otras palabras, como hacen los estudiantes hoy en línea, ¿verdad? Comparan las respuestas, okay? <laughs> so that's what they do. But in your case, since you are uh, adults and you're responsible, of your own learning, you're gonna do this individually. Lo voy a enviar a los breaker rooms por cuestiones para que en el segundo paso, okay, first step, you do this individually, okay? Second step, you practice this, okay? You take terms and reading the definition and then uh, answering with a value. Paso uno, lo hacemos individual, envían el formulario, you, you write your email over there. And step number two, uh, read, the definition, leemos el, 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 cada definición y le decimos la respuesta cuál valores. Ok. Eh, let me ask over there. Um, Mr. Luis, solamente para corroborar. Do you have any questions about this activity or everything is clear? No, precisamente no me quedó muy claro la, okay. las indicaciones. Si me puede repetir, por favor. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Eh, vamos a, a hablarle con, con hechos. I just shared with you the, uh, the link on WhatsApp, but I'm going to share it with you on the... Uh, hold on, please. Let me refresh this screen. Aquí vamos. Just one second. All right. Uh, okay, ahí está. Yo les acabo de mandar un formulario, un formulario, perdón, dice forms. Okay, Mr. Uh, Luis, open that up. Usted lo abre. And then you will be able to see this. Prácticamente lo que se va a estar usted buscando es, eh, con base a esta definición, qué valor se adjudica a esto. All right? Which one is the one that matches? Okay. Lo que yo les mencioné en clase es, Yo les compartí cinco de estos valores, ¿verdad? Respect. Um, or what's the other one? Innovation. Responsibility. Um, what else? There were like four, empathy. right? Empathy, right? Yeah, empathy is, is a great one, right? Pero creo que les mentí porque solo les compartí like one, two, three, four only, all right? Four. Okay. But you have the idea, right? So now, instead of, in lugar de hacer este crucigrama, porque nos va a llevar una eternidad, okay, vamos a, vamos a hacer este formulario. Solo va a dar clic. Okay, una vez, ¿verdad? No le va a dar dos veces. Además que si usted piensa que being faithful to your friends and family principles is responsibility, le va a dar clic acá y lo va a seleccionar. Okay? And then, you, and then you go down, they believe that something or someone should not be harmed or treated rudely. And then you think that is punctuality, le da click ahí también, ¿verdad? And you, and you select it. Ok, esa es la primera parte. Second part, sir, or second step. Yo creo que ya varios lo están haciendo. Eh, en los grupos compartidos solamente va a ser la actividad, ¿verdad? One by one, ¿ok? Taking terms, right? To practice your pronunciation, all right? And, and to check your answers over there, ¿ok? Ok. All right, thank you. 
Any other question that you may have, uh, everyone? No? So let's get to practice. So do it individually, please. And uh, then uh, work in purse, all right? Just one second over here. All right, so you're gonna be working in groups of three just uh, because of the internet. Okay, just one second. Podemos avanzar quizás ahorita hacerlo individual y ya en un par de minutos or in a minute, I'm going to send you to a breaker room. All right, thank you. Teacher and company, permit, no, no me permite escribir. Es así, hay que cambiarlo. O con solo la dirección del correo electrónico. No, solo con su dirección. Solo con su dirección. That's it. Esto, esto, this is internal. Esto es, esto es interno. Solo, o sea, como yo soy el creador de la, de la, del formulario, entonces yo, yo lo reviso. No le llega a Insafor. Ok. Yeah, but that's a good question. Thank you. Hasta el que quita le dio risa. <laughs> All right, so I'm opening the uh, the breaker rooms right now. Okay, so join them. Hello, Miss Susana. Hello. The Babu Susanas. <laughs> tocayas, tocayas, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice <laughs> name. That's a big coincidence. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fíjese de que estaba haciendo ayer la Ampier, estaba haciendo las That's tareas de la plataforma. Platform. Uh -huh. Y en la semana cuatro. Yes. Hay un, hay una, hay un ejercicio que no, no, no recuerdo si, no, pues ya le di vuelta a la pregunta, <laughs> de, la puse mayúscula, de minúscula, punto, coma, de todo. And that Creo que es la número 17 de la 4. 17, ok. Ajá, y este, usando el dúo, el dance, no recuerdo, pero le okay. tomé captura de pantalla, ahí se la voy a mandar a su, a su WhatsApp mañana. Vale, no, igual yo aquí voy a, tal vez le encuentro, le, le encuentro por aquí, dice 16, bueno, si gusta, sigo buscando yo y ya, Ajá. en un, una oportunidad, es la que decía, complete the sentences using the form of, no, I said be going to, dice. Um, ok, le voy a compartir pantalla solamente para, para ver si usted me da una, if you can give me a hint over there, all right. Is it this one? Sí. That's the one. Esa es. Hold on. Pero de ninguna forma ya le voy a decir. I'm, go I'm, go I'm going to do it while you guys are working in the, um, mientras ustedes trabajan en el ejercicio ahorita, I'm going to do it right now. Vamos a ver si no le encuentro ni patas ni pericos, como decimos. <laughs> All right. Okay. Solo una consulta, eh, Miss Portillo. Did you write sí. complete sentences? Escribió o, oraciones completas. Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Sí. Ok, bye. Vaya, voy, voy a seguir trabajando en esto y aprovecho para visitar los otros grupos. All right. Thank you. 
Thank see, you. See you around. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. We. Hello, teacher. You finished already? Yes, we are working individually first, and after that, we are we share. Yes. So we'll Correct. All right. Thank you. En la tercera dice <laughs> Hello. Sí. Hello. Empatía, empatía. Empatía. Echar una duda, ¿cómo pones el fondo ahí? Ah, el, el borroso. Es que mire, yo tengo ahí el armario atrás y todo, quisiera ponerlo. Sí, hace como una semana me di cuenta que existía eso, fíjese. No, Ajá. mire, no, de broma, usted se va, usted se va, eh, pues que no sé cómo les aparece, yo creo que sí se puede, se va donde, donde tiene el, en la cámara donde dice detener video y está una flechita. Uh -huh, tiene una flechita. Y, y la, la de los filtros. Seleccionar fondo virtual. Ah, selecciona el desenfoque ahí. desenfoque ah pero no pues no lo tengo quizás dónde no, dónde no en la camarita aquí lo miren tenés. vamos a ver creo que sí alcanzan a ver cada movimiento que yo hago por acá sí sí verdad se va aquí a la cámara de tener video y se va a seleccionar fondo virtual ok y aquí le van a aparecer todas estas. Aquí está nada. Pues a mí solo me aparece no. No le aparece desenfoque. Ah, pues no le aparece nada. No, solo no. Lo que puede hacer es, es actualizar, no sé, uno de estos días eh, Zoom, porque yo creo que es una actualización. Ajá. Uh -huh. Acabar. Es una actualización. Pero está muy bien, porque así no nos miran. Que <risa> sí, yo, pues uno aquí. Nombre. <risa> Ah, no se preocupe. Tengo dudas en la, en la 3. Bueno, yes. bueno. Vamos en la ah, para 3, mí sí. es, es responsabilidad. Eh, sí, no tiene número, Luis Adrede. La like, doing something well and effectively without wasting time, money, and energy. That one. Sí, responsabilidad. But what happens when you are efficient? ¿Qué pasa si usted es eficiente? ¿Cómo hace las cosas? Um, Rápido. Pido. Está bien, entonces sería Pu puntual. Ahí. Pero, puntual. ah, no, ahí es, es que está más allá, no veía yo eficiente. Ajá, ahí está, a ver. Pero es que Ay, no, es que hay un montón. Y sí, right. yo solo veía los primeros. Aquí están 10 y 10, 10 definiciones y 10. Mm. Ah, entonces, sí, ese está, ah. es eficiente. Ajá, pues te agarra el mouse, ¿verdad? A dos dedos, si gusta, un, y lo mueve así, izquierda, derecha. Sí, va claro. como lo tengo en el teléfono, teacher. Ah, sí, se le dije, no, ok. Claro, lo que puede hacer es girar el teléfono. Eso y... hice no, y me no. parece. Okay. Cuando hace así. Me parecen un poco más. Okay. Sí, ahí, ahí es, es cuestión del sistema, aquí así lo... Ajá, son bastantes palabras. Sí. Entonces, si no, la, no sería... La tres... Es eficiencia, porque no eficiencia. Correcto, eficiencia. Uh -huh. eficiencia. Ok, right. sí. Ahora vamos la introducción a la de nuevas ideas, método de invento. Innovación. Innovación. Uh -huh. mm, naive. <risa> Mentira. Nuevas ideas. <risa> ah, gran mensaje ah, subliminal. Gran mensaje, gran mensaje, subliminal. Gran mensaje subliminal, va que dio ahorita Mr. César, ¿verdad? Nuevas ideas, dijo. <risa> You said it, sir. You, you said it, sir. No, mentira. Just kidding. But that's innovation. Y por eso cuando estuve dando la definición de innovation, no me sirve ninguna palabra de esas, porque no vaya a ser. No vaya a ser, pues sí. Que hayan del 3%. Que lo mismo de siempre. Yeah. <laughs> Dice, teacher, ya, 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 ya se puso la vacuna contra COVID. Sí, sí. Hace Pero usted como... es, es maestro, o sea. Sí, dos semanas. Hace dos semanas la pusimos. O sea que dos semanas más y se lo, le ponen la segunda dosis. El, de hecho, el 4 de mayo. Ajá. Ya casi. Ya casi, ya sí. No tuvo bueno. consecuencias. 
solamente le da a usted como malestar, un poquito de, de calentura y si una pesadez, eh, ¿Cuál fatiga. ¿Cuáles pusieron? Dice? Uh, una china fue. Por ah, ahí, una china. Ah, Kovac. Kovac, creo que fue. Kovac. Ajá, Kovac. Sí. No, rapidito. O sea, cuatro horas esperamos ¿ve? ahí en el San Miguelito. Desde las 10 hasta las 2 de la tarde y de ahí 15 minutos. Para entrar fue que fue difícil. Fue difícil. Sí. Mm -hmm. Pero de ahí es, es rápido, es rápido. Innovation, right? Innovation. <risa> Esa era ahí, solo se queda. No comes. Es sí. que tengo problemas con el Inter, me está sacando ah, okay. cada rato. Híjole. <risa> bueno. Entonces, no sé, me he perdido de varias. Vamos <risa> por las 5, estar ahí. No, no se por las 5. Imagínense, no se preocupe, ya César le va a mandar más tarde, Mr. César. Sí. Ah, <risa> con, con tecnología incluida. ¿eh? Ay, no, ay, no, ay, no. Y sin Así internet la... me va a llegar bien lento. Sí, estamos en un instante. Okay, ya va a llover. All right, so hello everyone. Hey teacher. So how are you doing? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Vamos, eh, al finalizar de contestar, lo vamos a enviar. Yeah, you have to send it. Tiene que enviarlo and then share with your class. Me luego tomar, hacer turno, ¿verdad? Para ver okay. cómo, cómo le fue. Ah, perfect. That's the idea, all right? To no, practice yeah. the pronunciation over there. Okay. Ya le di enviar. All right. I will check it out. Brother. Okay. A mí me van a, me, me van a caer, ¿verdad? Como yo soy el, el I'm the owner, ¿verdad? El propietario. Ah. Uh -huh. No es cuestión de Insafor, ¿verdad? <laughs> Chévere. Nice. Así que el teacher, teacher le puede dar. Ok. Yes, sir. Uh, one question. Uh, ¿Algún problema por lo de la cámara? Es que estoy cargando el teléfono. Se me lo, lo que haga es, en los grupos compartidos, de eh, tal vez no mucho, pero de repente si se le pregunta algo cuando los ponga, sí tiene que eh, activarla, ¿verdad? Un par de minutos, aunque sea. Si puede, digamos, tener la, el mayor tiempo encendida, o sea, está bien, ¿verdad? Pero si le falla el internet, no hay ningún problema. No, 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 es que yo uso aplicaciones, porque mm. como estoy en la computadora de escritorio y no he comprado cámara, uso la cámara del teléfono. Mm, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Entonces, pero quiero ver, tal vez ya con eso de carga puedo activarlo. Vamos a ver. Tengo el famoso Droidcam. Oh, ok. Vamos a ver. Y ya me agarró un poquito de carga y aguanta, creo. Si no, igual lo dejo conectado. All right. So I'll see you around. Voy a, voy a revisar otro, otro grupo por acá. Ok. Ok. Entonces yo peleo con esto aquí. Ok. okay. <ríe> Sorry about it. Hello. 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 Hola, teacher. Hello. 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 Hello
That's correct. Okay. Every raving softly. The time that I spend around. Bueno, ya esperar cuando nos regrese. Hello, hello. 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 You finish. Hello. So you finish already? I can see, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, let's see over here. So let me just ask you, just to verify this. So, um, so what is the quality of being fair and truthful? What would be that one? The quality of being fair and uh, truthful. What can be the answer over there? The quality la, uh, la that people... confused me, the, the last one. Okay. 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 But I guess, let me tell you, I guess it's honesty, right? Honesty, uh -huh. right? So, la, la cualidad de que a usted confíen, pues, o ser usted lo más justo. Pero posible. creo que eso sale correcto cuando lo pone en, responsa en, en responsable, que damos, ¿verdad, Iván? Eh, no, es, es honestidad uh -huh. y okay. responsabilidad de, de quality of eso being dependable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Being, being dependable, correct. Uh -huh. because being dependable. Somebody, yeah, de because somebody tells you what to do. O sea, depende usted de algo, ¿verdad? O de alguien. So, that's why. That's why it's dependable. Okay. Sí, sí. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's okay. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main section. All right. Just keep in mind, antes de que se vayan, como yo soy el, el, el digamos, el creador de, del, del formulario, ¿verdad? Yo recibo su respuesta. Entonces, ahí voy a tener el score. So I'm going to get the score over there. Okay. Okay. All right. That's why. Nice. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. Hello everyone. So, Mr. Alfonso, how was it? Better than doing crosswords? Mejor que hacer crucigramas? <laughs> or not? <laughs> <Cuesta menos. laughs> yeah. All right. This so is, let's... this this is huh? perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just clicking over there, right? So that's the idea. Um, hold on, please. So we don't really uh, uh, waste a lot of time uh, because we got we gotta do this. Uh, let's see very quickly. So I'm going I'm going to ask some of you to help me. Okay. So, yeah. Y sin mentirle, Mr. Alfonso, ya va a ver para para qué. Aquí está, mira. Vamos a compartir so pantalla. You have the score. Uh, yeah, I can show you the score over there. But as you can see, Mr. Alfonso, you're like one of the first one in the list. You see? Can you see that in my screen? No, you, you got lost over there. You're going to be the first one to... Would you like to see your score, everyone? Yep. Yes. Okay. All right, so let me, let me get it for you. All right, so let me get it for you. I, I have it here. All right, so let me just one second over here. No crean que yo también hice el formulario para poder poner las respuestas. Yo solo, solo tengo el, el libro del estudiante, entonces toca. <laughs> All right. So here we go. And. Um, all right. There we go. So as you can see, I have 11 responses already. That quiere decir que todavía hace falta seis respuestas. Okay, I'm still missing this. Just tell me your name over there or your email and I, and I can show you your score over there. All right. Uh, let's see, Miss Carmen, this is you, right? Carmen Dad Hernandez, that Avianca Dalcon, right? Yeah. You got eight out of 10, okay? With floor. Ah, okay, with floor over there. With and the, floor. And the, yeah, and the ones that you missed are uh, this one, the quality of Maybe. being... Honesty. Maybe we have to, to, to make a choice between this. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. So, and then the other one was being honest and fair and behaving according to you chose honesty and integrity. Yeah, you messed up that one. One is integrity and the other one is honesty. Okay. Yeah, but you were close. All right. You were close over there. Okay. Does anybody else want to see? No, no, no. I can't release your score right now. Let me send you your scores, you know, to everyone. You see the beauty, the beauty of technology. I'm sending your scores to you through your email. Check it out right now, please. Okay. I mean, to the ones that send uh, the uh, form to me already. Okay. And uh, since we don't really have, have uh, a lot of time over here, let me go to the questions. And then my friends take a look at the answers in there and the questions, but I need to have, let's see, two volunteers, a gentleman and the uh, lady, right? So we're going to start with, uh, with uh, ladies first, right? <laughs> All right, so from one to five, and then from six to 10, a gentleman, please, or, or another lady, right? So who would like to help me? Hold on. Yes? What you're going to do is just, okay, Miss Carmen, just read the definition. Just tell, tell me the answer over there, please. All right. <clears throat> yes. Being faithful to your friends, family, principal, etc. Loyalty. Correct. You're loyal. All right. The belief. The belief that something or someone should not be a harmed or treated rudely. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah. And respect yes correct all right number three doing something well and effectively without wasting time money or ener energy efficiency efficiency yeah and you are efficient okay yeah um next one the introduction the introduction of new ideas method or invention is innovation. Innovation, right, correct. And the uh, last one? Yeah, being honest. Being honest and fair and behaving according to the moral principle that you believe in. <laughs> you, you will never forget that one, I can tell you, right? <laughs> yeah. Integrity. Integrity, right, correct. Thank you so much. Okay, so anybody else, please? Somebody else? that could help us with, with the other ones. We're still missing leadership, um, responsibility, empathy, punctuality, and respect. We're still missing those ones over there. All right, so a gentleman, please, that says, all right, me? Or a, or a brave uh, uh, female participant, all right? <laughs> okay so it's up to you i don't wanna i don't wanna choose over here all right so anybody please okay mr francisco go ahead please, sir. <clears throat> the next one being good at leading a group organization country etc is leadership leadership right okay leadership the quality of being dependable is a uh, i think responsibility Responsibility, okay. Next one. Responsibility. The ability to understand how someone feels because you can imagine what it is like to be them. Is the uh, empathy. Empathy, correct, yes. Arriving. Empathy. Arriving or being done at exactly the time that has been arranged is punctuality. Punctuality, punctuality. Punctuality. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Somebody. last one, the quality of being fair and truthful. It's, uh, I think. Like, I Billy, what... like Billy Joel's son, right? Honesty. Ah, uh, honesty, honesty. Yeah, it's okay. honesty, right? Like his song. Beautiful or... song, beautiful song. That's, yeah, it's it's a shame, you know, it's una lastima that we cannot play anything over here. 
Uh, yeah, due yeah. to the copyrighted. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm serious with you. I'm serious with you. So take a look at this. I'm going to release your scores again, but in this case, you need to tell me uh, who hasn't gotten uh, their scores or, or because I don't want to send them all again. But if I send them again, I don't think there's no problem, all right? Yeah, I don't think there's there's a problem. So here we go. Okay. That was good practice, right? Reading reading in English and then trying to understand the meaning of a word, okay, without looking for the translation. Si lo hicieron sin buscar la traducción, so that's good job. Y si buscaron, at least you try, okay? At least you try. So that's that's the that's the idea over there. So let's continue with this. There there is more uh, left for this class, okay? And I just need to remind you that uh, today is day number five. So, and tomorrow we will start week number two. And this night, uh, we're, I'm supposed to have uh, Miss Sarai Molina on the one on one sessions at 10 p.m. Okay. So, right now it's time for review passive voice. And uh, as I told you, we will do a review based on this uh, impressive a ship okay transatlantic right that's how they called it titanic that was drowned on its first trip okay ever right in the middle of the north atlantic ocean so <clears throat> let me share with you a, the access to this uh exercise and again, you will have to work individually, complete this with the words you have on the top. And once you finish, please take turns reading uh, this text. Completamos y en el ejercicio usted lo que va a hacer es arrastrar la palabra. Okay? So you have to drag, drag the word over there. I will send you the access to this in a second. Usted va a arrastrar. Esto es otro nuevo juguetito que yo encontré esta tarde, ¿verdad? Para practicar. Okay? Right, so that's a new tool. And that's what you're going to do, okay? You drag it, sorry about it. And that's it. And then you click send responses. Y luego le da click enviar respuestas. And automatically, the system will show you your score. Y automáticamente el sistema le va a decir su puntaje, okay? Once you submit your responses over there. So that's what you're going to do. But there's only one limitation. There is a catch. La cachada, ¿verdad? Perdón, what's the trick? You only have five minutes to complete this, okay? You will have five minutes only. But I think you're gonna be able to do so, okay? I think it's time is, is enough. Uh, I'm gonna send you again to a breaker room porque lo vamos a hacer en, en dos tiempos. First of all, primero you do it individually, right? And then in purse or in groups of three, okay? Taking, taking turns, reading, um, what you have over there. Okay, I forgot to tell you something. Les adelanto. Lo siguiente, permítame. All right. Um, let me just one second. I don't know who changed my desktop uh, background over there. Tonight, I will share with you a list of regular and irregular verbs that you can use over there. Okay. But we're going to do this activity a, uh, deductively, right? Lo vamos a hacer de una forma deductiva para que usted piense cuáles son los verbos eh, regulares y los irregulares. And once you finish, una vez que usted termine de hacer el ejercicio acerca del Titanic, lo hace individual, lo hace en parejas, lo hace en grupo, yo le voy a compartir esta lista de, de así como está, ¿ok? Y ya usted la puede imprimir en casa y en completes. Yo le voy a dar a completar los verbos irregulares. Y su trabajo va a ser, for tomorrow, imprimir esto y completar los verbos irregulares. O sea, lo voy a poner a hacer planas en otra palabra, ¿verdad? But that's optional, right? It's not mandatory. ¿Ok? We're going to go back to primary school, ¿verdad? Vamos a regresar a primaria. Ya vimos ya, vimos ya los crucigramas, ¿verdad? Y ahorita vamos con planas. <laughs> ¿Ok? <laughs> All right, so that's the idea. Sin más preámbulo. Uh, let me share this this with you. Um, just one sec. Here we go. Hold on, please. Permítame que esta pantalla a veces se me pierda. 
Um, all right. So I'm sending to you right now through the chat on WhatsApp the uh, Titanic exercise over there. Lo que yo les recomiendo y les pido de favor es si es un enlace o algo que se les comparte, ya sea que es de propiedad eh, del teacher, ¿verdad? En mi caso, que yo lo hice. Pero para cubrirnos las espaldas de terceros, solo lo que les pido es borrar el enlace, ¿verdad? O lo que se llama URL cuando usted comparte pantalla, sí comparte pantalla. Nunca he tenido ningún problema, ¿verdad? Porque son cuestiones educativas, pero no vaya a ser. All right. You just erase the, uh, the uh, link over there, just in case. All right. So um, click on that one, please. And let me know if it's working. So try to do it individually. And uh, right now, I will be sending you to uh, a breakout room so you could share your responses to this. Vamos a tener cinco minutos, ¿verdad? Todavía no lo haga, ¿verdad? Deme, deme tiempo para decirle cómo funciona esta cuestión. All right. Um, como ahorita no puedo compartir pantalla, cuando, cuando usted le dé le de clic al, 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 al enlace, lo va a mandar a una, a una página. Y de ahí dice el nombre de la actividad, que es de Titanic Passive Voice Reading. Y tiene que usted ingresar su nombre, right? En este caso, le pido que ingrese your first and your last name. So enter both your first and last name, please. All right? And then, once you do that, te da iniciar. De hecho, está en español. All right? I don't know why, but the system shows it in Spanish. So once you finish, hoy sí les puedo compartir pantalla. ¿Cómo se les va a ver? ¿Verdad? Bien bonito se mira, por cierto. All right? It's going to be just like this. Once you click on this uh, play button, dele play, verdad, decían, verdad? Okay. The Titanic passive voice reading um, le dice la actividad, arrastra y suelta las palabras en la posición correcta. So drag the words, you click on uh, begin, and you're going to have the words right there. You have five minutes counting, you usted arrastra, just like this, okay? You just drag it over there, and you just make sure to drag it, Okay, and then you send the responses in there. I think you can finish this like in two minutes. So, questions? No? no questions. All right, so go ahead, please. I'm going to send you to the breaker room again. All right. Teacher. Uh huh. En el nombre, tiene nombre y password? Mm -hmm. No, just your first and last name, right? Okay. First and last name, please. Okay. Only that, please. All right. All right, so rooms are open now. Let's see over here. sin querer cancelé la el envío okay eh, Mr. Gilberto you were working with uh, Sonia right okay yeah okay yeah let me send you back okay let me send you back um I'm gonna send you to number one and then move to the last one all right can you can you try now, sir? All right. Eh, Flor, eh, perdón, ¿con quién estuvo practicando usted? Disculpe. Eh, con, ay, no me acuerdo cómo se llama ella. Con Mr. Luis, no. Eh, mm, sí, creo que sí. Y con Evelyn creo que se llama. Y Zulma. Ah, no, no, no. Eh, la muchacha que contesta bastante bien en inglés. Ah, Miss Carmen. Uh -huh. Ok, soy Mr. Edwin, entonces. Uh -huh. Lo que usted tiene de lado, la cámara. <risa> ah, yo. No, 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 no. Le digo que el señor siempre tiene de lado la cámara. Ah, sí, sí, sí. <risa> sí, por eso ya lo reconozco yo. Uh -huh. <risa> ok, so I'm sending you, uh, sending you back right now. Ahorita lo estamos viendo. Ok. Ok. Hello again, five minutes. 
<laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, that's more than enough. Más que suficiente para ustedes, creo. Yes, it's very Yeah. Porque se me apagó la la. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 It's wonderful your activity, teacher. Uh, congrats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What platform do you do you use? Um, uh, I cannot tell you the name because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, a, a, a magician never reveals, okay. reveals his tricks, right? Un mago nunca revela sus trucos. No, teacher, but if we have people, maybe help us. Yeah, you're right. Very nice. Very nice. It's nice. And it's for free. It's for free. That's okay. the best thing. Yeah, it's for free. Okay. I didn't see anything like this activity in the my daughter school. Ah, yeah. I the, the thing is that uh, you have to uh, you have to spend time doing this. But it's worth it. It's worth it, you know. Vale la pena. It's worth it. All right. My time is almost up. I see here. Hello. Hello. Is Hello. it raining over there at your place? Yep. Finally. Finally, right. Winter has arrived. Too much heat, Mr. Eduardo. Are you tired, sir? Always. <laughs> well, I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alfonso, you're working, sir. Hi, you, sir. No, sir. Are you working right now? I mean, in the exercise? No, todavía no. Okay. And you, Mr. Nelson? I am finished. You're you finished already? Yes. How much did you get? Cuánto sacó? 12 de 12. Nice, that's the idea. That's the idea, sir. Es que, es que bueno, le comentaba a Eduardo que en este en el caso de este ejercicio yo lo sentí fácil en función de que era completar, porque yeah. la respuesta ya estaba dada. Distinto hubiera sido si yo hubiera escrito la respuesta. Allí sí no lo hubiera terminado. <risa> <laughs> oh, but that's okay. I mean, vamos en niveles. Okay, you're going to have the chance to, to write things down. Ya vamos a escribir, ¿verdad? But that's something else. Okay? That's something else. Voy a otro grupo para medir el tiempo y así regresamos en un par de minutos. Okay? So that's why. Now, once you finish... Please okay. take, take terms reading uh, the story, please. Okay. Right, thank you. Hello, hello. Ya se la mandé. Ah, ahí está. Ya terminamos. Ya la mandamos al WhatsApp. How much did you get? ¿Cuánto sacaron? Dos <laughs> <12 laughs> Ahí está. Ahí está. Estoy cerrando la cortina. En dos minutos. Está lloviendo. Sí. Está lloviendo. Mire, cruzo los dedos que no se va a ir la luz, porque si no, ya. A mí Otra aquí se fue la luz y se fue el internet. Ah, sí, ahí, ahí mire que estaba. Aquí en... todavía no está lloviendo. Bueno, tal que llueva de la 10 en adelante, dígale. 
No, no ah, le pues mandé sí. la, la anterior tarea, teacher. Ahí está abierta todavía, no se preocupe. Todavía, sí, aquí estoy tratando de terminar. <risa> <risa> Hombre, termínela después, no, no se martirice, si no se va a ir. Ah, va a ir Sí. Ay, no, es que ese internet está bien loco. No, yo ahorita estoy cruzando los dedos de que no me falle esto, porque si no, ya saben que lo que paga el pato somos todos. Sí, Ay, nos toca una que hora más. Hasta las 12. Ah, no, es... <risa> Mire, el 10 no. de mayo aquí conectados. Mire, no, no. Sí, abuela, que Ay, no. no, no, no. En mi, mente, en, en mi mente ya hice planes para el 10. Ya, no, ya me estoy mentalizando. Ah. Imposible, no, yo igual. Ajá, imposible pero, estar en clase. Pero falta esto, ¿verdad? Ah, ah pues sí. sí. No ha llegado a la fecha. Y así, mire, como los diputados, estos son los chistes, ¿verdad? Que, que voy a pedir adelanto de Adinsafor, ¿verdad? Para el 10 de mayo. Para... El, bono el bono adelantado. Está bien. Está bien. Bueno. Está buena la Mos. idea. No, es que sí, los, no. los, los diputados no, están pidiendo no. que, que les paguen antes el, el bono, porque el primero de junio ya no trabajan ahí. Ajá, el, día, no. Pues, el primero de mayo. El primero sí, de mayo. No, diez días les va quedando mañana. Sí. Diez días les queda. Sí, o sea, no, no. Mire, ya, mí, los sí. días. Mi, mi esposa trabaja desde casa, ¿verdad? Eh, y le dan bono a ella por internet. Yo trabajé toda la pandemia desde casa y a mí solamente me dijeron, vaya, gracias por echarnos la mano. <risa> Porque ustedes están gastando el internet, claro, ustedes pagan el servicio. Sí, Nadie claro. les ayuda. Internet y luz. Sí. Pero Así bueno, nos pasó a nosotros. ¿Verdad? Similar. Y por eso cuando yo estaba diciendo lo de, lo de responsabilidad era como, mire, delegan, pero... <risa> Así Sentía toca. Sentía que le salía del corazón. Ah, pero... Así toca. En pandemia no se puede pedir mucho gusto. No, gracias a Dios que tenemos trabajo. Así es. Así Mira, es. pero realmente nosotros, bueno, nosotros no nos fue tan mal, nosotros nos llevamos todos los días y Ajá. nunca Igual hubo ningún tú. cambio realmente, pero porque nosotros trabajamos en empresas de, que tienen que ver con alimentos. Ok, Ajá. Y eso sí hay demanda, ¿verdad? Siempre. Entonces, gracias a Dios. Hay demanda, leche. Gracias, gracias a Dios que en la educación y en lo, en lo que usted trabaja hay hay que comer. Hay pues. trabajo. Uh -huh. Sí, hay trabajo. Porque hay lugares que sí tuvieron que suspender. Sí, sí. 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 Bueno, let's go back to the main section, right? Okay. 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 Hello. Teacher. Yes. Fíjese que yo no pude realizar el ejercicio porque ahí le envié al grupo como me aparece en el teléfono. Ok. Aparece, no, no puedo ni ampliar la pantalla y está bien oscuro y no, no se ve cómo mover las teclitas, así que solo estuve de, de evidente con el compañero Luis. Ok. Uh, maybe you can do it tomorrow uh, in, in your computer or some other day. All right. Perdone que ha comenzado, ha comenzado a, llover, a llover por acá en, en casa y se escucha un poquito el ruido, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. but you can do it tomorrow, Miss Uma. All right. That's okay. okay. Porque en teléfono no he probado este ejercicio. Sí, okay. no se puede, fíjese, en mi teléfono Ajá. no se puede. Eh, teacher, yo lo hice en mi teléfono y me, me costó un poquito, pero sí lo hice. Sí, por el espacio, ¿verdad? Se reduce y es bien. Ajá. Sí, 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 pues. Sí, pero sí, sí lo hice. Point. Ok. So, um, this one, you, you told me, so it was a little bit easier, right? Because all you have to do is just to uh, fill in the blanks, ¿verdad? Me, me dijeron, está un poco razonable. Eh, se puede hacer porque usted solamente arrastra y completa los espacios. So that's what you told me, right? And that's okay. So, but this is a great story, right? It's a great story. And for that, I need you to practice taking turns reading. If you haven't done it, you have to do it, right? Si usted no ha hecho la práctica de la lectura de esto, lo invito a que lo haga usted solito en su casa. Quizás ahorita por cuestiones de tiempo no lo vamos a hacer. 
I'm going to ask uh, like three or, or five students to read this in front of the class. But in the meantime, let's try to uh, let's try to complete it. Okay, so let's try to complete it. Uh, so the Titanic was passed, and this case is not passed, right? It's built, right? So it's built in into 1912. Who can help me with the next one, please? Someone that maybe uh, wants to participate on this one. Somebody else that would like to help me over there, because I, I don't really want to choose. Alguien que me ayude, please. Uh, somebody else? Yeah, the other Sorry. One. Uh, Mr. Eduardo, all right? Thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir. It was designed in a new way. Yeah, you have it, uh, the number three. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. Continue, please. Uh, it was designed in a new way, and it was thought to be unsinkable. Because of so, this, means it wasn't uh, given given enough, enough lifeboats for the passengers and the crew. The uh -huh. hull was damaged by a collision. Okay. With a huge iceberg and it sank very fast. A total of 1,513 people were drowned that day. Because of this disaster, a lot of magazines were printed no, uh, yeah, we're printed in many languages. Yeah. Yeah. The international safety laws were yeah. passed and nice Pass. control was established. Pass. Yep. A nice patrol established. established. Hold on, Mr. Alberto. Let me, uh, let's see who else wants to participate over here. Um, Okay, I'm sorry about it. Would you continue, please? Me. In 1985. Okay, in 1985, the wreck was uh, the wreck was located right. on the seabed, and the ship was explored. Several so successful right. films yeah. have been made about the Titanic since then, and the most. What release? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Appreciate your help. Okay. Yeah. That's the attitude, you know, to try to practice in here. And then if I send the responses in there, that's the magic of this activity, right? That you get immediate feedback right away. And it gives you a score. All right. And it tells you the time over there. Esta vez porque fue la, 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 la primera vez que, que lo hicimos, le quité lo del time limit because of the connection over there, right? Pero en otras ocasiones sí le voy a poner el tiempo específico y ahí lo vamos a cerrar, all right? Right now, I, I, I left it open, as you can see over there. I left it open right there, okay? So, um, let me close it, okay? And go back to the main... Uh, Page in there. We're gonna just practice some uh, some pronunciation over here. All right. Vamos a practicar pronunciación un poquito. So just one moment, please. And that's what you're supposed to do. So now I invited you. Los invito. So with your microphone off, to uh, read out for me, right? Okay. So. Los invito a que lean uh, this with me, all right? Read along. Con su micrófono apagado, por favor. Hold on. Let me get this. <clears throat> uh, one second, please. Okay, hold on, please. Let's see what is... All right, so let me show you the statistics of, of what you did right now. 
vamos a mostrarles con, con sus con hechos. So, 17 students completed this. What is the, uh, the average uh, score? Is 10.8. What is the, uh, the top score is 12 out of 12. So which means that 15 students out of 17 got 12 out, out of 12, which was uh, faster over here. It was Mr. Eduardo, which did it very fast. So very good job, sir. Okay, that's very good job, all right. And then you see, uh, these are the correct ones. I mean, we have the questions, we have the uh, distribution of scores, and then we have, uh, that the uh, question and then the answers over there, which are the correct ones. And it says in here who sent it and I have this course right there, all right? Like for example, 12 out of 12, and then it took you one minute and 17 uh, seconds. Bien cuadriculados ese sistema, right? So I, I, I get you right there, all right? <laughs> yeah, that's a great system. That's a great system, okay? And um, if you want to know the name of this, you have it on the top. All right, and if you have further questions, I can, I can uh, tell you uh, how to make one of these. Okay, you can, you can make this for your children or, or just for your friends, all right? There we go, so let me close this. Let me share the screen. I'm gonna share this one. So read after me, please. Now we go to step number two. So your job will be to Conjugate the verse. Vamos a hacer como un grado de dificultad un poquito más. Usted ya lo hizo, ¿verdad? Más o menos sabe el verbo que tiene que ir ahí. Lo vamos a hacer en tiempo real, leerlo de corrido, ¿ok? So this is going to be like a challenge, all right? All right? So here we go. Eh, con su micrófono apagado, va a tratar de seguir, ¿verdad? Quizás no el mismo eh, ritmo, but you, you have to try it, uh, to, uh, to make the intonation, all right? And uh, here we go. So the Titanic was built in 1912. It was designed in a new way and it was thought to be unsinkable. Because of this, it wasn't given enough lifeboats for the passengers and crew. The hull was damaged by a collision with a huge iceberg and it sank very fast. Okay. A total of 1,513 people were drowned that day. Because of this disaster, a lot of magazines were printed in many languages. New inter international safety laws were passed and ice patrol was established. In 1985, the wreck was located on the seabed and the ship was explored. Several successful films have been made about the Titanic since then. And the most recent was released In 1997. Básicamente lo que le está diciendo esto es que se diseñó en el 1912, pensaron que era, no se podía hundir y por eso no tenía suficientes eh, botes salvavidas, ok, para los pasajeros y la tripulación. El casco fue dañado por una colisión, ¿verdad? Por un choque, por un iceberg, ¿verdad? Y se hundió rápidamente. I think like in two hours. Esas personas murieron en 1513, se ahogaron ese día. Some of them die of, 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 uh, of the cold, right? Okay. Hypothermia, right? The hypothermia. So they die because of that. They didn't really drown. No, no, no realidad que se ahogaron. Because of the disaster, por, por, el, por el desastre, ¿verdad? Muchas eh, revistas fueron impresas en muchos idiomas. Eh, leyes internacionales eh, fueron aprobadas y la patrulla del hielo fue establecida y en el 85 un explorador de National Geographic discovered that in 1985 ok, no dice ahí que fue de National Geographic, pero este, este fin de semana estuvieron pasando un par de documentales ¿verdad? entonces that's how I got the idea out of that one, ok eh, encontraron los restos en 1985 en el fondo del mar, ok y fueron, exploraron el barco eh, muchos filmes como documentales se han, se han hecho o creado acerca del Titanic desde entonces y el más reciente fue el que todos sabemos, ¿verdad? Que James Cameron made that one, right? It was a huge success. So we know that already. Okay? So let's keep on practicing over here, right? So this was supposed to be a review. If I were you, I keep on practicing this, all right? Si se fijó, ¿verdad? Los, los verbos regulares los, los, los pronuncié de forma distinta. But this is, this is a, a, a lecture, ¿verdad? Esta es una explicación. Una cátedra, si le quieren decir. For Thursday, para el jueves. Right? It's going to be for Thursday. Okay? 
So, and that's very important, okay? So let's continue. So you were telling me it was easy because you just have to drag the words, but estaba un poquito fácil porque solo tenía que arrastrar la palabra. But now that you have to write the statements with just with these ones, you have to tell me, right? Uh, how to do this, all right? You have to tell me what to do over here. Um, we will keep on working uh, over here, but this time we're gonna become very traditional, okay? We will become very traditional, but a, I have a, a, a trick over here. Voy a dejar de compartir. Remember that there is a PDF with you. Vamos a ocupar el PDF que les compartí la semana pasada. So le, let's use that one. It's a PDF. And uh, le, let me see if I can find it over, over here. I'm going to tell you the page number. Le digo el número de página y todo para que podamos ingresar. Y si usted ocupa la computadora y puede modificar el documento, so you can do it over there. So right away. So let me find the document. The name of the document is Thursday, April 15, Class Passive Voice. Okay. No es que vayamos atrasado con esto, pero um, de hecho la clase quinta, que es esta, la quinta clase, ten, tendremos que cubrir esto. Entonces, I think we're, we're good. All right. So here we go. Let me share the screen. It's on page nine. All right. Check the chat over there. Revisemos el chat, verdad, si no sus documentos. And this is the one you have. Okay, so it's on page nine. Nine, and it says, change these sentences into passive sentences with by. Then take terms, reading them aloud. So just to clarify, all of these statements are in active voice. Okay? Todas están en voz activa, and then you have to write them down in passive voice. Like sculptor Frederick August Bartholdi designed the Statue of Liberty in 1884. Please pay close attention to the object, right? So what happened? What was made? Pongamos la atención al objeto. Lo que importa en la voz pasiva, en la voz pasiva es el que se hizo, que se fabricó, right? And then who made it is not really necessary. Comenzamos al revés, ¿verdad? Comenzamos, no sé, lo último. Aquí, ¿verdad? Del principio, ¿verdad? Que se fabricó fue, que se diseñó la estatua de la libertad, ¿verdad? La diseñaron o fue diseñada por este señor. All right. And then you continue over there. So in this case, uh, you can write things down. Si les pido de favor, ¿verdad? Que hagamos all school, this exercise, or you can do it on a PDF. O sea, si usted puede modificar un PDF, eh, hágalo. Okay, you do it. But otherwise, you just write in a notebook one, two, three, four, five, and six. Escribamos una lista del uno al seis y en lugar de escribir la voz activa, write down the passive voice. And once you finish, y si usted gusta, cuando termine, you take a picture and then you send it to me on the chat over there, please. All right? Is that understood? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm going to ask uh, just one person over here just to clarify. Miss Miss Sulma, uh, do you have any questions? Uh, a veces les pregunto, no es por, por el hecho de que no hayan entendido, sino que solo para verificar, ¿verdad? Y elijo un nombre por ahí al azar. Miss Sulma, si tiene alguna consulta, yo le explico. No, teacher. All right. No, no. no, no questions over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So try to do this individually, all right? It's 9.34 right now. I think like in around three or four minutes, you could finish. Es decir, que por ahí por las 9.39, 9.39 or 9.40, you should uh, share your responses with a classmate. I will send you back to a breaker room right now, okay? But before I do that, all right, let me just go back to this screen. Yo creo que ya están trabajando, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero creo que no está de más. Remember this, please, all right? So try to remember this. Como en el ejemplo anterior. So like in this example, we have the president opened the building in 1931. This is an active voice. Está en voz activa. Entonces, ¿qué fue lo que el, el señor uh, aper, uh, inauguró? Es la palabra correcta. Inauguró fue. Eh, el, the Empire State Building was opened by the president in 1931. So that's the structure that you should follow. Okay. Something like that. All right. So remember the formula over there. Let me send you to the breaker room, but please work individually first, okay, for the first two minutes, and then start uh, 
let's see check in your responses over there all right i'm sorry teacher what is the name of the the file uh thursday the passive voice class uh i think i can send it back to you again all right Please. Thank yes you. you're welcome yeah because we have a lot of messages i didn't realize that one okay <laughs> okay um Hey teacher, what's the number fish? Number nine. Okay. Yeah, it's number nine over there. I'm sending I'm sending this to you right now. Okay. So just one second. Yeah, I send it again. Okay. So it's on page nine. all right so please uh join the room but uh continue working individually please I will share the uh, the uh, I think uh, uh, an image of the exercise on the chat. I think that's easier. All right. All right, so uh, if you if you like, you you can try it, uh, entering the room, uh, Mr. Francisco, uh, Miss Evelyn. Hold on, let me send you back. There you go. Can you try now, please, sir? Okay. Can you try now, please, sir? All right, you, you too, Mr. Alfonso. So could you try it? Um, let's see, number two over there. All right, so Mr. Alfonso, I'm going to send you to uh, the room right now. Ahorita lo envío a uh, una sala. Okay. Just a moment. Uh, Mr. Sulma, would you like me to send you to a room? Yeah. Ahí está. Voy a enviarlo a, al grupo, Mr. Uh, Alfonso. Eh, me te, tengo dos. Ah, no, pero es la misma. Uh -huh. Ok.
picture in the in the second one we can say mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln was played by Daniel Day Lewis in the 2012 film Lincoln. Yeah, that's perfect actually. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're talking about that somebody else played uh, the role of, of President Lincoln, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. Yes. You see, this this uh, uh, passive voice applies not only on, on things, right, but also on people, right? Eighteen four. No, no es eighteen. Eighteen, eighteen, eighty four. Hello, hello. Ah, sí. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what's the debate over here? What is the debate? Ah, mire. Ajá. 1884 is 1884. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. 1884. Lo que pasa en la fecha es eh, dividimos, lo dividimos en decenas. Eh, el 200 me dijo. De dos en dos, correcto. El primero el 18 y luego el 84. Igual que 1971. Eh, ya el 2000 para adelante, ¿usted lo dice de corrido o lo dice también separado? O sea, usted decide. Eh, vaya. Daniel. Sí. A mí ya me trabó yeah. este PDF. Ok. Estamos trabajando. Lo... Estamos... Ok. No nos halló. Ah, sí, hoy no estuvieron. <risa> <risa> ya le entendí, ya le entendí. Qué mala fama. <risa> Qué mala no, fama. Es que como dijo individual, va, Ajá, sí. No, sí, por, por, eso, por eso el final no, no quise crear, digamos, algo así como virtual, ¿verdad? Para que, porque esto sí es necesario que lo escribamos, yo siento, ¿verdad? Para que pensar, ok, tengo que escribirlo. Queda de más. Forma. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Se queda más, tiene razón, se queda más. Daniel Day. Tenemos una idea. La primera me quedó a mí. The Statue of Liberty was designed in 1884 by the sculptor. Ah, 1884. By Hello. the sculptor, ¿cómo? No, no, I'm here. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> By the sculptor Frederick August Bartholdi. Yeah, mm. that's a that's a difficult name, right, Frederick? Sí, de verdad que sí. No, entonces estaba super confundida a saber desde cuándo porque no entendía eso. Okay. Va en la segunda. Daniel Day Lewis played Abraham Lincoln in the uh, 2012 film mm -hmm. Lincoln. Yep. Uh, yo puse in the uh, 2012 film Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was played by Daniel Day Lewis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. okay. Thank in you. The, in the... <laughs> Thank in the 2012, you. it's correct, teacher. Yeah, 2012. 2012. 2012. Bill Lincoln was player by Bill Daniel Day. Daniel, Lewis. By Daniel. By Day. Daniel. No, es, no se puede decir for Daniel Day. No, it's by. It has to, it's to be by. By. Yeah, when you're talking about an author, cuando se trata de autor, usted pone by. Usted dice, this book was written by. Este libro fue escrito por. Right? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. Mona Lisa was escrita, was, was written down by. And then you see the nail. Mm -hmm. eh, de hecho, muy buen observación es usted, Mr. Luis. Eso es para que no se nos olvide. All right. Excelente. Okay. Nice. Bueno, ver, no All right, but, but continue, please. I'll be back. All right, ya regreso. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. 
Hello. Yeah, are you still working individually, Mr. Gilberto? Or did you finish already everything? Están trabajando eh, todavía. Eh, aún nos falta. Okay. Nos falta eh, comparar. All right, but did you do number three already, eh, Mr. Gilberto? Did you do number three already? Yes. Eh, okay, could you tell me the answer, please, so I can write it down? Okay, the book one. 100 years of solitude mm -hmm. was wrote in uh, 1971 by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Mm -hmm. Okay, was, and what's the verb you said? Uh, was wrote. In that case has to be written. Or was written was written okay written, yeah written by gabriel manlo right gabriel garcia marquez okay in 1974 all right okay with that it's okay you know I, I have to check another group so we can check the other ones right okay thank you you, you can start comparing more there all right that's okay perfect Hello again. Um, yes, you know, I have some uh, some uh, sentences already completed. So could you help me with number four? Four. I don't make four. Yeah, number four. Four, four please. Yeah. First digital. Uh -huh. HDTV in 1991. Yeah, the first digital HDTV was produced, right? Uh -huh. In 1981. And we're going to write by, by who? Fake. Who? 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 Oops. Podría ser teacher Ajá. ya escribiéndolo con, así ordenadamente. Who page in 1991 produced the first digital HDTV. Yeah, you can do it that way. Or you can you can leave the year until the end. Okay. It's up to you. There's no problem. Okay. <laughs> Um, the TV was produced. All right, so I have it here. By Wood Pike. All right. All right. Or you you you, you can say the first digital HD TV was produced by Wood Pack in 1991. Casi siempre dejamos el date until the end. Como, you know, the year, it's until the end, right? Uh, most of the time. I mean, I'm not saying that you don't have to, you cannot do it before. But no le digo que, que no lo puede escribir antes, ¿verdad? Pero lo común es until the end over there. All right? Okay. One more minute, and then we go back to the main station, please. Okay. All right? Thank you. You're welcome.
All right, so hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I already have a four uh, statements completed with the passive voice um, form. So I'm, I'm only missing number five and number six. Number five has to do with J.K. Rowling wrote the first Harry Potter book on an old manual typewriter. And then number six, I'm missing Empire Magazine readers chose The Godfather as the greatest film of all time. Eligieron al Padrino como la mejor película de todos los tiempos. This is number six over there, right? With Al Pacino, right? Okay, um, so who can help me with number five, please? With uh, J.K. Rowling, what, what did she do, right? J.K. Rowling. All right, so may I please have a volunteer, please, who can help me with number five over there, All right? The, the first Harry Potter book mm -hmm. was brought on the manual tape right by J. K. Rowling. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. J.K. Rowling. Rowling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sir. Correct. The first yes. Harry Potter book. Yep. Was written. Was right, written on an old manual tape right by or for. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay, sir. Sorry about that. By J.K. Rowling. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. J.K. Rowling. The, right. The, yeah, she's, she's from uh, the United Kingdom, right? She is the right. Bye. Okay. Bye, yeah. Uh, Ray K. Rowling. Yeah, she became very famous after that, right? And then the movies were made into, uh, I mean, the books were made into movies. That will be famosissima, right? J.K. Rowling, right? Sorry about that. All right. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Luis. Okay, can I have the, the last one, please? All right. Anybody, please? Me. Yeah. Uh, okay. In that case, Miss Susanna. All right. Thank you. Okay. The Good Father was the great film of all time, chosen by Empire's Empire Magazine readers. Yeah, you can say that uh, chosen by Empire. Uh, yeah, oh, the Godfather. Yeah, The Godfather, uh, as, uh, as the greatest film of all time, uh, was chosen by the by uh, Empire Magazine Reader. Yeah, but that's one auction, but there's another auction as well, all right? That's okay. one auction, okay. Who has another another uh, version of this answer? Right, okay, Miss Carmen has a different, okay, or a similar. Go ahead, please. The Good Father was chosen by Empire Magazine readers as the greatest film of all time. Yes, so uh, thank you, Ms. Carmen. Ms. Susana Hernandez, your answer was okay, but we need to keep an order, right? So we okay. start with, we start with, with let's say in this case, is the movie, right? So The Godfather, uh, what, what happened, okay? Was chosen, okay, by who? Or, or, or like what? The Godfather was chosen as the greatest film of all time. Who, who, who chose it? By the Empire Magazine readers, right? So it, it makes, it's more logical that way, but that didn't make logic as a form. But like you said, it's okay, you know, like you said, it's also okay, but it's not that common. Pero no es mucho común ocupar esa estructura, right? It's, it's okay. not that common. But the grammar, what's okay, right? The grammar, what's okay, porque si usted ocupa el, el verbo to be y el verbo en participio, it's okay. Lo demás lo puede poner donde usted guste, okay? Y puedo omitir partes, all right? Because okay. I can tell you, I can tell you, The Godfather uh, was chosen as the greatest film, film of all time. Solamente le dijo, lo eligieron como el mejor filme, okay? Pero no le dije por quién lo eligió, right? So that's not necessary, right? That's not necessary. Bye, okay. okay. Yeah, after okay. bye, or okay. So The Godfather uh, was chosen as the greatest right, film of all time by Empire Magazine readers, 
en realidad no fue la, la revista, sino que los lectores de la revista la eligieron. So, that's what we're saying over there. Okay. So, now with your microphone off, let's try to practice this, please, my friends. It's almost time for us to say goodbye, but then no alcanzamos a hacer los, los, los listening. So, we're going to do the listening tomorrow, right? Listening practice tomorrow. Okay. Today was writing practice, and tomorrow will be more listening practice. All right. On Friday or on Thursday, was reading practice. Si se fija, estamos alternando las prácticas, ¿verdad? R reading, uh, writing, speaking, and also um, this one, right? Writing. So, con su micrófono apagado. The Statue of Liberty was designed, designed by the sculptor uh, Frederick August Bartholdi in 1884. Acuérdese que los números los dice por docena, ¿verdad? En dos. 1884. In 2012 film Lincoln, uh, Abraham Lincoln was played by Daniel D. Lewis. Aquí puede cambiar el orden, ¿verdad? Si gusta, ¿verdad? Uh, Abraham Lincoln was played by uh, Daniel D. D. Lewis in the 2012 film Lincoln. So you can change the order over there. All right? So it's up to you. I repeat. So Abraham Lincoln was played by Daniel Day Lewis in the 2012 film Lincoln. So what I'm telling you is that leave the date for the end. Dejemos las fechas para el último dato, verdad, de la oración. That's what I'm telling you over there, right? Or you can start with that. Oh, te comienza con la fecha, right? So that's okay. You can start with the date. So number three, the book 100 Years of, of Solitude was written uh, by Gabriel Garcia Marquez in 1984, long time ago, right? So next one, the first digital HDTV was produced by Wook Pilk in 1991. The first Harry Potter book was written, written on an old manual typewriter by J.K. Rowling, right? By J.K. Rowling. Dejamos el autor o quien hizo algo al final, ¿verdad? Igual que las fechas. So that's another rule, to ¿verdad? Because we cannot omit it. Creo que esta fecha casi todos sabemos que, quién escribió Harry Potter, right? So The Godfather was chosen as the greatest film of all time by the Empire Magazine readers. Okay? So let me stop sharing this screen. Uh, you can also get a screenshot just to make sure that your answers are correct. And as I told you before, as I promised, uh, Let me share with you a list of the verbs that you have studied so far, ¿verdad? Lo que les mando es una lista de verbos que hemos visto o vamos a ver en este nivel. No es que estos son los únicos verbos que existen, sino que solamente para que usted tenga la, la lista de regular verbs and irregular verbs, ¿ok? Si usted gusta o tiene tiempo, puede imprimirlo y completar el cuadrito como que fuera práctica extra. But tomorrow, this is the first thing that I will, I will help you with. Voy a completar estos cuadritos. Right? Or I can ask you, so, uh, Mr. So-and-so, tell me, number three, do. What's the past? And you tell me, did. What's the past tense? Done, right? So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to close the night by sharing with you this Word document. But um, I'm going to send it to you. Bueno, si lo imprime, creo que, are you going to print it? No sé si lo van a imprimir, solo mando un Word document. But if you want to, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. I can send it to you on the, um, how do you call it? On PDF, all right? So, Miss Sarai, you stay, please, for the one-on-one. -on -one, mientras les envío el documento. So, hope to see you, everyone, tomorrow, all right? And have a great week. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yes. Vamos a... Ahí estamos. <laughs> ya los dejaron. <laughs> Antes de que se venga el agua. Antes de nombre, si ya llovió aquí, yo cruzando los dedos. Que no se fuera la luz, gracias a Dios ya. Aquí, aquí está tronando, teacher. Ya sí, mire, ahorita si ya se va, solo me van a descontar 15 minutos. <risa> no, hombre. Y yo aquí aquí pero... rogando que no se me va a ir el internet, porque si no. Ah, no, pero si se le va, este, bueno, vamos a perder la práctica, ¿verdad? Pero estos 15 son, como dice Will Salgado, de Choto.
De hecho, en broma. Vaya, si gusta, hacemos el cuadrito que estamos haciendo ahorita para que avance usted para mañana. Vaya, está bien. Vaya, esto como es cuestión de memoria, yo le voy a ayudar, pero ya después, cuando, cuando yo termine de hacer esto, lo voy a borrar, aunque me toque doble trabajo, ¿verdad? Pero, <risa> este, permíteme, vaya. Lo, ay, quiero ver si puedo darle esto. Ahí está. Fíjense que ha, ha salido una nueva actualización de, de, de Word que me lo pone como que estoy presentando. Así lo acaba de poner ahorita. Ah, en serio. Mire qué bonito. Está bien, entonces. Mire qué bonito. Ajá, ya no aparece bonito. ninguna opción ni nada Otro truco Ajá. igual que la pantalla Que está borrosa Como ¿verdad? modo pantalla completa <ríe> Exacto, pero aún mejor Ajá, está bonito. Mo Modo enfoque, vaya Más didáctico Exacto, eh, vamos a quitar aquí eh, Dice En inglés existen verbos regulares Y verbos irregulares Pero esto solamente sí. usted se tiene que preocupar Cuando está hablando del pasado ¿Ok? Uh -huh. En eso se tiene que preocupar, ¿verdad? Cuando usted habla en presente, en futuro, a nosotros no nos interesa si es, presente, si es regular o irregular, porque no, es, no, es, no necesitamos saberlo, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Pero en pasado, debido a la pronunciación y a la escritura de los verbos, usted tiene que dis distinguir o con el tiempo irse aprendiendo, ¿verdad? O memorizando qué verbo es regular o qué verbo es irregular, o en el mejor de los casos, usted tiene que... que Usarlo de una forma correcta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. no, no va a conjugarlo un verbo regular como que fue regular o viceversa. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, los verbos regulares, la facilidad es que la escritura es bien fácil, ¿verdad? Solamente le agrega al final del verbo, le agrega ed y ya lo hizo uh -huh. en pasado. Esto es una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? Si usted lo conjuga, digamos, yo, primera persona, usted dice yo acepté, ¿verdad? Sí. En, sí. en, en otra persona, tercera, usted dice él aceptó. ¿Ok? Y en inglés se escribe igual, solo dice accepted, ¿verdad? Ahí uh -huh. la pronunciación es la que va a cambiar y eso es lo que les voy a mencionar yo el día miércoles o jueves. De ¿verdad? mañana. Cuestiones de pronunciación. Lo que pasa es que, bueno, yo quisiera mencionárselos mañana. Yo solo voy a mencionar, ¿verdad? Eso, pero, pero me tengo que... Pero más a fondo poco, otro día. Un poquito rápido porque tengo que seguir, ¿verdad? Lo que me piden ahí. Sí. Ok, vaya. Entonces esto, ustedes si gusta hacer planas, o copia y pega. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si se fija, el pasado y el pasado participio es el mismo. Vaya, solamente una pequeña aclaración. Para la voz pasiva que estamos viendo, esta es la tercera columna que se ocupa. Uh -huh. Pero como en los verbos regulares, la misma del pasado es la misma estructura del pasado participio, pero en su mente, usted ya le cambia el, el significado, ¿verdad? Usted ya no dice acepté, sino que usted dice aceptado. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Usted dice fulanito fue aceptado en la universidad, ¿verdad? Ok, uh -huh. la universidad lo aceptó, va a decir aquí, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí ya cambia el significado. Y todos estos verbos, mire, base, borrow, que es prestar, celebrate, eh, clean, cook, cultivate, damage, deliver, design, employ, podemos seguir, ¿verdad? Porque pude sacar 25 de, lo, de las guías uh -huh. que les he dado. Sí. Y de las que vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Entonces, de ahí dice infinitive. De estar los verbos irregulares. En los verbos irregulares es cuestión de memoria. De ahí, pero ya no, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, en cuestión de memoria, permitamos. A ver, tenemos tiempo. Más de cinco minutos. Tenemos, vaya, eh, build pasa build. La ventaja que este verbo es casualmente es el mismo en build. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Caught, que es atrapar o acachar, es caught. Cut, como con una O. Ok. Do pasa a did. Y en participio pasa a done. Don. Hecho. Right. It se le da vuelta, mire, bien raro. Y se hace así, se pronuncia como el número 8. Eight. Mm, eight. Y aquí, en el participio, tomamos las bases y le agregamos en, eaten. Pero esto es cuestión de memoria. Yo sí. solamente, lo que le quiero yo demostrar ahorita o ilustrar es que en los verbos irregulares, usted se los tiene que aprender. En el camino. Por ley. ¿verdad? Por ley. Y lo más, <risa> lo más recomendable es que usted se aprenda solamente los que va viendo. No se va a aprender. Ah, esta mañana voy a aprender cinco horas. Todo. Mira. Nunca vamos a terminar. Es, es mentira. <risa> Exacto. Y nos vamos a frustrar. Se va a frustrar. <risa> va, entonces, si se fija, aquí voy. Dice fly, es flu, y luego va flung, 
O sea, usted dice, hey, qué chivo, cómo se los puede, o sea, pero uh -huh. cuesta un montón. O práctica, sea. sí, a la práctica. Sí, cuestión va. Entonces aquí, give es gave, y aquí el pasado participio es given. Given. Y así, y lo puse dos veces, mire, aquí les hice más. <risa> Plaza fantasma. <risa> <risa> Mentira, menos mal que no los compartí todavía. Sí. Ok, una plaza fantasma ahí va. Ponemos en planilla ¿va? a alguien. <risa> y ahí vamos a echar de ver. Ajá. <risa> ok, Gru. Y así, mira, es cuestión de memoria. Esto uh -huh. usted con el tiempo se los puede aprender, ¿verdad? La, la práctica, leyendo, escuchando, o sea, eso. La primera vez usted no, se lo, no es que se los vaya a aprender. Entonces, aquí. Sí. Y aquí vamos a dejarlo así medio andar, solo para demostrarle, ¿ok? Vaya, uh -huh. cerramos con esto y hoy sí la quiero escuchar, a ver qué tal, cómo le va en este, en este módulo, cómo se ha sentido. Pues ahorita, este, lo que me está costando uh -huh. ahorita es como la, la pronunciación. El internet va a decir. <risa> Siempre tengo el problema con el listening. Ok, no, pero eso es normal. Audios. Oh, Sí, pero es, es normal. Mañana vamos Ajá. a su peor pesadilla. Ay, no. Sí, va. <risa> Entonces lo que estoy haciendo es eh, las películas, a veces las pongo como en inglés y títulos. títulos. Sí, y puede. he estado escuchando como música, ¿verdad? Para, uh -huh. para ir como el oído, para que se vaya como... Exacto, se vaya puliendo el oído, se acostumbra. Eso ahorita. Y eso es lo que uno y... debe de hacer, de hecho, no, no quedarse solo con las clases y poner en la radio, ponga, sí. no sé, baje, baje unos podcasts de algo que a usted le guste, algún tema, no sé, le interesa uh -huh. eh, algo, pues, y lo baja y si usted tiene o va en carro o en su teléfono o algo, lo pone y ya con eso hasta se puede acostar o algo. Yo lo hago, fíjese, de repente este, se me queda una palabra y dijo dónde la leí, quizás porque la escuché. Pero fíjense que el oído cuenta mucho. El oído ¿Verdad cuenta que mucho. sí? sí. Le, le, y brevemente yo le cuento una anécdota. Yo tuve la oportunidad de, de, de estudiar un par de meses allá en, en el otro lado, en el norte. ¿va? Sí. Este, y cuando yo llegué, según yo, yo podía inglés. Y, y sí, ¿verdad? Me, me, pero el oído me costaba mucho porque cuando de repente me hablaban, y me hablaban un poquito rápido, o sea, me quedaba así como un par de segundos procesando y ya les contestaba. Uh -huh. Ya cuando regresé aquí, ¿verdad? Al país, después de un par de meses, ya me di cuenta de que lo, el oído lo traía más agudo. Mm, es cuestión de costumbre, ¿verdad? Pues, ajá, exactamente. Yo dije, el cerebro, gracias a Dios, ¿verdad? O sea, ¿cómo, cómo se adapta? Sí, el hecho rápido. De, así como los bebés que al principio solamente dicen pacha o el sonido, ¿verdad? Y después ya le ponen nombre y, y así es lo mismo, lo mismo. Sí. ¿Sí? Pero lo más que usted, que usted esté expuesta al idioma a través de la música, eh, películas, su oído se viera acostumbrando. Sí. ¿okay? Y eso así va a ser. Cabal, eso he echado de ver en estos días, así es de que sí. lo está haciendo más, más práctica. Sí, sí, sí. Como sí, el sí. diario vivir. Sí. Y si se fija, los grupos, yo, los demás grupos, yo los, los, cualquier grupo puede caer, pero el de ustedes, trato de mantenerlo. Y, y si se fijan, no importa si se fijan, ¿verdad? Pero no creo, al final de cuentas, ahí es cuestión que yo decida. ¿verdad? Sí, ahí es cuestión de cada quien, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, o sea, ahí es cuestión de cada quien. Entonces, con esta cuestión de la gramática, eh, se utiliza bastante porque uno no habla siempre directamente. O sea, cuando usted quiere hablar de algo que fue hecho o que sucedió, se ocupa esta estructura. Y usted en lo, su mente eh, tiene que guardar el hecho que dice esto fue o esto fueron o ello fue. Uh -huh. Así es la estructura que usted tiene que guardarse. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, acá, ¿verdad? Eh, la Estatua de la Libertad fue diseñada. ¿Verdad? Fue este señor interpretó a Abraham Lincoln, ¿verdad? Play. Uh -huh. O digamos, Abraham Lincoln fue interpretado el, por, el, eh, ajá, por el libro Cien Años de Soledad fue escrito por, y todo el mundo sabe uh -huh. quién lo escribió, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo puedo decir que Gabriel García Márquez escribió Cien Años de Soledad, ¿verdad? Pero eh, en inglés tenemos la decisión de escribir ambas, ¿verdad? O yo comienzo uh -huh. con el libro que fue escrito o tal cosa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, 
Por ejemplo, el primer caso de COVID-19 fue detectado en Metapan, aquí en El Salvador, ¿verdad? El tipo que entró por el punto ciego, ¿verdad? Entonces yo lo digo, fue detectado. Entonces, sí. pero yo puedo decir, este tipo entró por el punto ciego, ¿verdad? Y, y fue, se contagió, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. ya, para entender la idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, y así seguimos, ¿verdad? Número cinco, el, el primer libro de Harry Potter fue escrito en un viejo manual, ¿verdad? Con uh -huh. un, de, de una eh, máquina de escribir, typewriter. Typewriter. Y el padrino fue, fue elegida como la mejor película de todos los tiempos y ahí dice, entonces si se fija esa es la lógica verdad fue uh -huh. fueron y no, y no hay vuelta de hoja ahí es de hecho en su cerebro y el cerebro de adulto le ayuda a uno a procesar eso porque uno funciona con estructuras sí ¿verdad? ya hoy me pasó en el trabajo que llegaron todos los chicos bueno los que confirmaron y chocaban los horarios que el internet no servía que no me cargaba tal cosa y que nos cambiaron de lugar, que nos pusieron micrófono, entonces uno entra así como ¿y aquí qué hago? Sí. Porque, porque uno funciona ya con estructuras. Es cierto. Bueno, la animo y a seguir aprendiendo, disfrutando ahí de, de la compañía. A seguir practicando. De, de, de Claudia y de Mr. César, que nos echa la mano bastante. Sí, sí, está bien. Muchas gracias, teacher, por la paciencia también. <risa> no, aquí. Mire, como, Ana Yancy ah, sí ya no, ¿verdad? Ya. Ah, mire, fíjese que me escribió, bueno, me, me llamó el día sábado. Fue porque se equivocaron igual que Rocío. La dejaron ah. fuera, pobrecita. De hecho, yo le voy a mandar, ya le mandé un par de materiales ahí, pero no es lo mismo. Está de oyente. Sí. Pero ella va a pedir cambiarse al grupo otra vez, a este grupo. Ojalá ah. que, ojalá que sí se lo conceda. Ojalá. Ah, muy bien. Uh -huh. Bueno, a ver qué tal, ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> Vaya, entonces, será hasta mañana. Ya, yeah. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Adiós.